Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson we're studying division word problems. And we will start out the lesson by comparing multiplication word problems and division word problems. I wrote down here some important things about both. In multiplication word problems and in division word problems both, you have groups or parts that are the same size. I think of it sometimes as so many of the same thing, okay? And then there's a difference that in multiplication problems you're asked the total. You don't know how many in total, okay? But in division problems you already know how many in total, okay? And then in multiplication problems you would know how many groups you have or how many parts you have and how many in each part or the size of each part. And in division word problems, you are either asked how many groups or parts, or you are asked the size of each group or the size of each part. Let me show you an example with some baskets here. If I were to write a multiplication word problem, I would tell you, for example, that, okay, there are so many baskets, four baskets, and in each basket there is the same amount of something, maybe apples. Oh, okay, blueberries is Matthew, well, I have a red marker, so let's use apples, okay? Let's say you have some apples, you know, e each basket would have the same number of apples, okay? Maybe three, maybe three apples. And then I would ask the total, right? And then that would be a multiplication word problem. You would solve, okay, four times three, twelve apples, right? If I want to write a division word problem, I would tell you the total. That, okay, I have so many apples, I have 24 apples or 40 apples or so many apples. And then I want to put them into baskets. And either you have to solve how many baskets or how many apples goes into each basket. Okay, so I might tell you that, okay, there's 40 apples and 4 baskets. How many apples in each? Or I might tell you that there are 40 apples and I want to put 10 apples in each basket. How many baskets? Okay? Okay, over here we have a situation. We have a series of books and each book has 40 pages. So we, here we have things that each have the same amount of pages. And now one of these will match a multiplication word problem and one of them will match or be a division word problem. I didn't put the question here, so you can think about it, okay? Each book has 40 pages and Matthew read five books. So what could we ask? We could of course ask how many pages did he read in total? The total number of pages, okay? And how would you solve it? You would write a multiplication, right? Five books times 40 pages in each book. And you can add to find out 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. You should get 200 pages. So, what kind of books were they, Matthew? Math story books. Okay, I guessed so. Here, another Ellie read 120 pages. She read those same kinds of books. What can we ask this time? What can we solve? She read 120 pages, she read so many books, but we don't know how many. So we will ask, how many books did she read? And to answer that question, can I write a multiplication or a division? Okay, I can write a division, 120 divided by 40, right? And if those numbers look big to you, it's still an easy division, just think this way. How many 40s are in 120? The answer is 3, right? I can also write a multiplication this way. In this multiplication, I would not know how many books there are, so I leave that empty. It's my unknown. And then times 40 pages equals 120 pages. I know the total, okay? And so I would write the total here. And then 3 goes here. This would be a missing factor problem. One of the numbers we multiply is missing. And now lastly I have two problems for you to solve. 
that are actually mixed, they require several operations, okay? So they are not just simple multiplication or division problems. Andy and Annie bought a $21 gift for mom and a $25 gift for dad. They shared the cost equally. How much did each pay? All right, they buy two things, they share the cost. So what would you do? They buy two things. Let's first find how much those two things cost together, just by adding. Okay, there's 21 plus 25, and that's 46. It's $46. And then they share the cost equally in those two people. Maybe it's a brother and sister. And we would divide, right? Let me write here $46 and divide by 2. And how much will each pay? Take half of this number, simply $23. Okay? So that one took two operations and this one will too. The team leader bought three red balloons, two blue ones, and one yellow one for each of the seven children. So how many balloons did he buy? How many balloons in total did he buy? Okay, since we don't know the total, it might have to do with multiplication, right? Those three red balloons, two blue ones, and one yellow one for each child. Another clue word is this each, okay? When there is the each, it might be multiplication or division. Seven children. Now, how many balloons does each child get? Six balloons, right? You have to add three plus two plus one. Six balloons for each child. And then all you do is multiply, right? There's seven children and each child gets six balloons. And so we get 42 balloons that the team leader bought. Okay, we're all done with this lesson.